Next, we have to talk about binary logic. Although I assume that you have already studied this in your 2500 course, but I would like to quickly recap that. So the three basic logical operations, one of the three logical operations is one is AND. So AND operation is simply when if we talk about the two input AND gate, then the output is one or output is true only when both the inputs are one. Okay, it's usually represented with a dot sign, x, y, and equals to z, or x, y, simply z. Or we can sometimes also write x and y equals z. The logical operation and is interpreted to mean that, as I said, z equals 1 if both x and y are 1. Otherwise, it is 0. It is sometimes represented with the product sign, x dot y. Dot corresponds to the product also. Okay? Similarly, we have another basic logical operation called OR operation. So x plus y, again, plus is not an arithmetic operator here. It's, an, it's a logical operator. So x plus y equals z. We can also sometimes represent it with the OR symbol. And it simply says if either of the input is 1, then the output is 1. Okay? It could be um, more than two inputs. We, we can have three input OR gate, we can have four input OR gates. So if any of the input is one, the output would be one. Similarly, NOT gate, so whatever the input is, the value is inverted. If the input is zero, the output is one. If the input is one, the output is zero. Okay, and it is represented with this triangular followed by a bubble symbol, okay? Binary logic should not be confused with binary arithmetic. So when we talk about arithmetic, one plus one corresponds to binary one zero, which which is decimal two. And if we talk about the binary logic, one plus one equals one. Okay? Because both the inputs are one, the output is one. And the definition of logical operations may be listed in the com form of truth table. I assume that you are already familiar with truth table. Right? So AND operation, you represent x, y as an input. So you specify all the possibilities of two input, so 0, 0. It could be 0, 1. It could be 1, 0, and 1, 1. And the output is 1 only when both the inputs are 1. In the OR gate, the output is 1 when either of the input is 1. And NOT gate, whatever the input is, the output is inverted. Sometimes we also represent it in the form of waves, okay? So assuming that this is the input pattern of X and this is the input pattern of Y, just like, for example, two, uh, two different devices are communicating to the same processor. One device, let's say A, is transmitting its data and it always transmits either in the form of a zero or one. And these zeros and ones are nothing but the voltage levels. When the wire that is being connected to your computer, if the voltage is zero, it is considered as logic zero. If the voltage is, let's say, 3.5 volt, for example, it is considered as logic one, okay? So it is con continuously transmitting data zero, one, one, zero, means like the voltage is continuously being switched uh, from zero to one and one, zero. Then we can have a system to implement end operation, so you can see when the input at this instant was zero, the output was zero. At this instant, both inputs were one, the output was one, only at this point, for the end operation. What do you think um, the OR waveform would look like? For this part, for the first instant, it's zero, right? And from starting from here, because this input is 1, it will be 1. This input is 1, it will be 1. And this input is also 1 here, so it will all be 1. So when any of the uh, two inputs is 1, the output will yeah. remain 1. And for the not, for example, not x, it will exactly be a replica of x. Because x was 0 here, the output would be 1. x was 1, 1 here, the output would be 0 and so on. 
Okay, any question? All right, so there are, uh, these are the three gates which you would mostly be ended up using and or in not. There are some other additional gates which are derived from these gates. So there is an AND operator which is the NOT of AND. Okay, so this bubble is simply an inverter followed by this AND operation. So it's exactly opposite of how AND gates behave. So AND gate has one when both the inputs are one. So here in this exam, uh, in this NAND operation, it will be zero, else it will all be one. Similarly, NOR operation is exactly a replica of OR followed by a NOT. So you calculate OR and then invert everything. Exclusive OR is something different. The output is one when both the inputs are different. And the exclusive NOR, the output is one when both the inputs are same. So for password matching on the hardware, we can use exclusive NOR gate. When both the inputs are same, then the output is one, okay? So if you have like, um, let's say, five bits password, something like that, so if the, both the inputs are same, the output is one only, okay? Next is an activity. Please do this on your own notepad. I do not have these activity sheets printed. I'll give a pause for, let's say, five minutes. OK, I'm moving forward with the solution that I have, which is this. It's, it was pretty easy, and B. Whenever both inputs are one, the output is one else the output is zero. For OR, again, either of the input is one, the output would be one. Here in this third bit, both the inputs were zero, that's why it's zero. A XOR B, it's or B, is whenever the inputs are different, the output is one, and whenever the inputs are same, the output is zero. So here, one zero is one, and zero one is one. Every there, everywhere else is zero. So NOT C is the easiest way to convert A6 into, so first of all, 0x is a representation of this number in hex. If I would have written 16, it would still be a hex number. So A makes it evident clearly that it's a hex number. So A can be written as 1010, and 6 is 0110. And then you can just flip it to, convert, uh, to calculate it's NOT, okay? There is one more slide for today, which is logical operation. So we need to learn some additional operations that are performed in computer. Shift left. So for example, this is the operator, which is the two left arrows. So by three means we need to shift a value by three. So here, for example, this is the original value, no matter what value it is. If you have to shift it left, all the values will be transferred, will be shifted to left, and the three spaces would be padded with zeros, okay? Because it will not make, or it will not change the sign of a number. Okay, we are just shifting it left, okay? Shift right logical, so there are two variations of shift right operation. Shift right logical, you just simply, so here we are shifting right by four, okay? So when you shift it right, everything here is shifted right towards this. So you can see this entire value is transferred here, and these will be padded with zeros. And when we say shift right arithmetic, which is, it has a separate operator probably. So when we say shift right arithmetic, we sh extend or replicate this sign from, I mean, we pick this sign here, which is one. So we will, because we have to shift it by four, so we have to replicate the sign four times. First of all, you copy this entire number and place it here and pad the sign, sign bit here, okay? And when we actually perform shift operation, 
what are we doing in the shift operation is let's see if I have a value um, let's talk about shift if I have a value let's say zero zero one zero and let's say it is represented in eight bits if I shift left by let's say two what does that mean shifting left by two means I have to shift the entire value left twice so here this bit would move to this place after shifting it twice so it will become zero 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 one and everything else is same so what was this value it was two and this is eight so when we perform shift operation we actually multiply and value by two if I would have shifted it by one it would be it would be four so so if I'm shifting it by two I'm actually multiplying the current value by two so whatever the value is two it is multiplied by two and makes the value eight so when I shift it right so for example shift right it is dividing by two okay so this same value zero 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 or let's say when I shift it right it becomes I'm shifting it right twice so it will become here zero zero one zero okay so I, I have actually divided a value by two so whenever you are required to perform multiplication by two you can simply perform use the shift operation and you have to divide a number by two you can simply perform the right operation okay so this is it for today if you have any questions you can ask me I'm